This is the Hawk. Just call me Hawk. Please subscribe, like, hit the bell for updates, and please share. Please check you haven't been unsubscribed because they don't want the truth to be told. And from the Hawk, that's all you will get. Donations are greatly appreciated. The link is below. And I'm humbled by those that do donate. The money will go towards helping South Africa in every way, shape, and form I can. Take care. Be safe. Video to follow. Good evening. This is the Hawk. Some new developments. Information has just been forwarded to me about last Tuesday. Last Tuesday, all night, planes were flying out of Bartikloff Airport and coming from all over the country, delivering money from reserve banks. It was taken to Bella Bella Ranch, owned by Roma Pulso, and about 3 o'clock in the morning, some Russian jets took off with a lot of money. It is speculated, or alleged, this is Gaddafi money, and it was sent to Russia. I think there's something going to happen in Libya, and maybe Gaddafi's son will go back to power. Furthermore, there's a 500 million rand shortfall in taxes this year. So what did they do? They started upping the electricity bill in white areas to try and catch up the shortfall. The whites demanded no, they started complaining, and suddenly there was load sharing. This backfired on them because immediately the businesses were like, hey, we're sick of this now. you got to quit or we're going to have to close our businesses. Suddenly the load sharing stopped. What's the next thing they're going to do? They're going to increase fuel to ridiculous amounts of money and the taxis will go mental. So they're stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. After the royals left, a lot of people pitched up. Bill Gates and his wife, and next week, Soros is coming, Lloyd's Banking is coming, HSBC is coming, and so is Henry Kissinger. Now, when Henry Kissinger arrives anywhere, there's a leadership change. Does this mean there's going to be a coup d'etat? And a new leader will come into place? Very strange that the DA suddenly loses three of the leadership people. And I can guarantee you a lot of money changed hands there. It is speculated and rumored that they received a lot of money to leave the DA. It is funny also that Malama has disappeared. Very quiet. He's under investigation for fraud, money laundering, stealing from the Z VBC, VBS bank, and numerous other things. In his address in Oxford, he stated the real reason most of these African countries collapse is because of corruption and the leadership that runs them. And then he started loving Robert Mugabe. I, I honestly, it just blows my mind. Anyway, Prince Harry and Prince William do not like each other right now. Reason being, the rumor is, 
Prince William told Prince Harry not to marry Meghan Markle. She was not part of the bloodline, and nor is he. And he told Harry to, bear, to marry into a bloodline, to stay as part of the royal family. An argument ensued, and it is rumored that William called him a bastard son. How much of that is true? But based on what is going on right now, where Harry is deliberately trying to steal the limelight from William because of his wife, adds to the mystery of what's really going on there. But there's bad blood right now between the brothers. Sooner or later, somebody will let the truth out. Now, with Prince Andrew and this Jeffrey Epstein debacle with the royal family, the royal family right now does is they've got a lot of huge PR to fix. Prince Andrew has no way, shape, or form of getting out of this one. He was on that island a number of times, and he can't say he only knew Jeff Epstein briefly or saw him in passing when Jeff Epstein owned the island please I wasn't born yesterday the pedophile is a pedophile is a pedophile so in the last few days since Ramaphosa came back politicians have been asleep more worried about the airplanes arriving and the Russians came to land. He slipped in a uh, provision in the government that on the 21st of December they're going to go for land reform, which should have been in March next year. And while the DA fell apart, fought, fell apart and, and the Russians are landing and all that mayhem, everybody was running around like the chickens with their heads cut off not seeing what he's doing. Politicians wake up. Something's about to happen. South Africa has violated the UN sanctions and the US sanctions against Iran. They are storing oil in Saldana Bay and they're supplying the Iranians with diesel. They also supplied Iran with 300 tons of gold that they were keeping for them just in case the U.S. put sanctions on them. And they did ship the 13 tons of gold to the Iranians and the minute the sanctions took effect. They're in violation of sanction laws. And the U.S. needs to take cognizance of what's really going on. One has to take into account there's three players in this mess. There's the Russians, the Americans, and the central banks, and the Chinese. Chinese, they don't care. They want to steal everything. They don't care. They're going to take it, knock you down, and control you. The Russians will sell you guns. And take your minerals. They don't want nothing. They just want the minerals. They don't care. They don't care if you kill yourself, do whatever. They don't care. They'll give you the guns to do whatever. Now the Americans and the central banks want to control you and keep you in debt. Just a minute. And keep you in debt. Once you're in debt, they control you. And every country that's had the central banks, countries are in complete and utter debt. More to follow. I'm going to show this clip now of this vehicle that was in the, in the, in the suburbs taking photographs 
of properties, please be aware. Here is a vehicle. If you see this vehicle in your neighborhood, it has been driving past everybody's properties, stopping, taking pictures of the gates and the property itself. It had no number plate on it. When confronted by security people, they claimed that they were municipality workers, but they could not show their ID. If you see this vehicle or people in vehicles such as this, please report them immediately. These people are not there for the municipalities. They are there to case out your houses. And should you have them on surveillance video, send those videos to security companies, the police. When called by the police, the police stated that they weren't committing a crime. This shows you that the police are incompetent and refuse to stand by and do what is necessary. However, you are the best defense. So I suggest if you see people with this type of vehicle or any kind of vehicle stopping, taking pictures of your gates and your property, you need to take pictures of them and report it to the police and to your security companies and be aware you are being targeted for another attack. Here's another short clip of uh, Julius Malema uh, and his henchmen, uh, Ramaposo, um, a number of other people that are lying through their teeth. And this shows you the politics that are going on in South Africa that need to be addressed. And unless from the top down, these corrupt politicians are either removed or put in jail or brought to account, this will never stop. Hence, if they don't do what is right and they are not the example for the rest of the country, the whole country is going to do exactly the same. And that's exactly what's happening. They are law-abiding people, but these same law-abiding people who take the law into their hands because they have to get arrested by the same police who should be protecting them and the same government that should be protecting them. And this is truly wrong. Truly wrong. It is time to stand up and protect yourselves. This is the Hawk. I'm out of here. Please subscribe, like button, hit the bell, donate if you will. It's greatly appreciated because I'm going to try and help some of these cases in South Africa where these people are being wrongfully convicted for crimes for protecting themselves. The money will go towards getting new equipment, better uh, video equipment and stuff. Also, to provide security for some of these farmers and upgrades and I'm trying to do everything I can to help them and if you would please share these videos with the world we need the world support we need other governments involved here there are some very big players involved now and we need to stop this we need to find a solution to what is going on to stop the murders rapes torture and the discriminative laws that are going on in South Africa, there should be no dis racist laws of any kind in South Africa. They should be stopped immediately. And I'm demanding that they be stopped immediately. If any laws should change, it's those laws. We did not start or remove apartheid to put them back. And there's, it's, it's just a, it's a human rights violation and needs to stop now. This is the hawk. I'm out of here. Please stop raping your mothers and daughters and grandmothers and children and, and little boys and whatever. And stop killing each other. Find a solution. Find a way. There is a better way than this. I'm out of here. My blood is black, green and gold. I will never form a political party. You can think you live in another world. Ang nadi talang zang ang benar.
Pati sa siya hindi. There is nothing that could be construed as a shipping, as far as I know, in sex mob. I'm born African National Congress. I will die African National Congress. If it turns out that there is any illegality and corruption in the way that he has dealt with this matter, I will be the first to make sure that he becomes accountable. I have never received any money from the VBS. <laughs> Even if it means that I'm the one who will take him to the police station. I'm not using uh, Mahuna's money. Mahuna never received money from VBS. And I've never had any dealings uh, with VBS. Who knows very well that uh, I don't drink? I myself have done no wrong. The North Gauteng High Court did find that he did lie. Being conveniently placed at a supposed crime scene. Mr. Tijanizim has told an untruth. There was never an arms deal. The South African government has not paid any bribe to anyone to secure the rights to host the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Do you agree that that information was false? False South Africans, they are fools. Uh, I did not lie about standard 10, I was advised. Because I'm honest. I have no reason to plot against Comrade Cyril Ramaphosa. I thought time has come that we must speak the truth, not just tell things that we cannot prove. So help you go. Hey, hey. Is there a Shabin somewhere here in, in Saxon World? Yeah. This is the Hawk. Just call me Hawk. Please subscribe, like, hit the bell for updates, and please share. Please check you haven't been unsubscribed because they don't want the truth to be told. And from the Hawk, that's all you will get. Donations are greatly appreciated. The link is below. And I'm humbled by those that do donate. The money will go towards helping South Africa in every way, shape, and form I can. Take care. Be safe.